The Japanese have had a long-standing reputation for taking a basic concept, a basic idea, a basic product, and making it better, improving it. They've done it with, say, cameras, all kinds of electronic goods, cars, one might argue. Uh, but what have they been up to lately? Well, I'm about to show you. Stay tuned. All right, so back in the day, uh, yeah, my day, uh, so we're talking prehistoric times here, D the fair would come to town, the carnival would come to town. Um, this is this is before PlayStations and all your fancy iPods and iPads and iPhones and whatever else people are getting up to these days to amuse themselves. Well, we didn't have that exceptional range of goodies to, um, you know, Scrabble was still a thing and so was Snakes and Ladders and Cluedo and, you know, you, you get the picture. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Anyway, the, 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 the fair would come to town, the carnival would come to town. There'd be like, you know, rides, you can go on and, and bumper cars or dodgems or whatever you want to call them. That was all great. There'd be some booths there where you'd be throwing rings to try and win prizes and you might win a teddy bear or you might win, you know, a can of, I don't know, beans or something, whatever they had on hand. But one of the things that was quite common to win at these fairs, these, these outdoor things, was a, a plastic bag with a fish in it, a goldfish. I mean, you know, plastic bag with, with water and the goldfish in it. If you if you were really lucky or the fair was really good, there might be two goldfish in it. So I can I can remember a number of times going home from one of these fairs, an afternoon trip with the family and all this sort of jazz, with plastic bag and goldfish. Now. It always followed the same unfortunate pattern. You'd put the goldfish in a, a tank or you'd have a little container or whatever and you come down from bed the next morning and goldfish would be, he'd have leapt out or he'd be gone or he'd be dead or he'd be floating on the top or something. It was all, it, look, it was, it was, it was a bad show. It, it, it never, it never worked out. Um, of course, we didn't have the internet to go online and, and educate ourselves about proper goldfish care back in the day. I don't know what we fed them. I think you could buy food, but we probably fed them breadcrumbs and stuff. They were simpler times, they were innocent times, and they were good times. Now, here's a thing that popped up. Why am I talking about all this nonsense? And the Japanese, what's it got to do with them? Well, the Japanese, those master innovators, those master improvers, those those people who just take something and zoom it forward. They've taken that basic fish in a bag idea and they've done something remarkable with it. Have a look at this, if you will, from the Mail Online. This is a piece from Crystal Jones. Crystal Jones, marvellous name. Um, now that's fresh sushi. It starts. Japanese firm designs portable fish tanks for seafood lovers to take their dinner home alive. Yes. Yes, indeed. So as you know, Japan is has a, has a, has a, a huge sushi tradition um, and, and, and it's part of their their national cuisine if you like and, and, and they're wor known the world over for that now a little side fact I like a bit of sushi I mean I, you know now and again I wouldn't eat it every day but uh, yeah sushi's sushi's nice I like a bit of sushi here and there as I'm sure a lot of people do, but it's huge in Eastern Europe. I didn't know that. Well, maybe you did, but I certainly did until I went there. And it was every second restaurant was a sushi restaurant. I said, All right, fair enough. So there you go. Now we have a bit here in Ireland, but 
Eastern Europe, you go all over, uh, say, say, uh, Ukraine, Russia, uh, Moldova, all those places, even Poland, um, the sushi everywhere. Why? Don't know. But there you go. There's a little fun fact uh, in case it comes up at a pub quiz or whatever. So let's read on here from uh, what the Japanese, our Japanese friends have been up to with the fish in the bag thing. So, uh, yeah, so the, 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 the basic concept here, as you probably have guessed, is that instead of going to the, whatever, the market or your local fish shop or your fishmonger, as we used to call them, and you buy the fish and the fish is dead and he wraps it in a bag or paper or whatever they do, and he, you go home with your fish and throw it in the fridge or whatever till you're ready. Well, they've gone and developed a, a, a carrier system which is basically a, 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 a modern version of our old carnival fish in a plastic bag with water concept. So the article goes on, a new device named the, Katsug, the Katsugyo bag, have I got that right? The Katsugyo bag, yeah, is being developed by inventors in Japan. All right, well done. The design features a transparent tube and temperature gauge to carry fish. It is designed to show off extravagantly expensive seafood bought at markets. Because I'd imagine if you go up the if you go up the, the chain, the scale of, of, of sushi, from my basic understanding, it can get pretty darn expensive, some of the the fish that you can be incorporating into that. So I suppose a status thing would be if you're going to buy a some kind of weird puffer fish or something for like ten thousand pounds well you want to you don't want it in a paper bag you don't want you don't want it in a in a in a cardboard box i mean what use is that nobody can see that you want it in something glitzy and transparent so that everybody on your way home can see oh look at that ex rather expensive fish there how absolutely uh, cool and windswept and interesting. Uh, not to mention that you basically look like you're some kind of, you know, off-duty uh, billionaire. Social media users joked that they would take their pet fish for a walk instead. Well, I can see that catching on in Hollywood. Um, I'm sure the Kardashians and, and who are these other the Kardashians and, and those other socialites, they'll be on this like a flash. Yeah, watch that space. So let's read on and see what this is all about. A new handheld accessory that doubles up as a portable fish tank is set to launch in Japan. Of course it is. The Bonkers new device. <laughs> I haven't heard that word in a while. The Bonkers new device, known as the Katsugyo bag, allows wearers to show off their expensive market-bought fish as they carry it home. Oh, look at me. What do you think of this? Uh, the product will launch as soon as it has passed testing. Don't know what you'd have to test with that. It's just basically a tube with water in it. Oh, we've got a picture of it here. An Instagram page showcasing the unusual design already has thousands of followers with many asking about the cost. I wasn't one of those asking. A caption for the handheld tank claims the product is being developed by a company named MA Corporation. The post reads in Japanese, Quote, under development, this fish bag, a product that carries fish live. And here we have, you see that there? There you go. Uh, uh, some kind of an interesting looking zebra fish there. Um, don't know what you call him. I'm sure it's, it's rather expensive. Quite big actually too. Big lad. Um, so you can see there you've got the whole temperature gauge thing. It's, 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 it's kind of like a, a miniature fish tank. Um, yeah, fair enough. Okay, I suppose it was only a matter of time before somebody came up with that one. Um, what else have we got? There's another angle. There. Oh, there's two fish in that one. All right. I, I could. This is definitely going to be. Uh, they're going to be rocking round Hollywood Boulevard with these. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. It, it, it won't be like. You see the whole uh, little um, manicured Chihuahua and poodles that they have, and they're all like really manicured and they, some of them are wearing coats and hats and stuff yeah that's all going to be old that's all going to be all old tosh everybody's going to be walking around with their pet fish now and 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 you can have like really colorful and expensive ones so that'll 
determine how, how cool and rich and high up the social chain you are by how expensive your pet fish is. Oh, God. I don't know. Is the world better off now? Is it really? Were we better off with our little goldfish in the plastic bag? Hmm. I don't know. There's another angle there. A couple of chappies. A couple of, couple of mackerel. A couple of sprat. Whatever you call them. Uh, right, so bring the fish you caught and the live fish you bought at the market to your home. We are working to spread live fish. Uh, I think the whole thing about sushi is the fresher the fish is, the better it is. Isn't that the? Isn't that my? Am I? Have I got that right? That's the basic concept that it has to be fresh, fresh. Um, the handheld fish tank. The article goes on. Is shaped in a long tube with a transparent middle section to show off the fish with a handle on top that, and a gauge that monitors the oxygen saturation of the water. So it's fairly uh, scientific, good, good, good stuff there. Um, I'm sure the fish would enjoy uh, his, his journey. Um, not sure he'd enjoy the end of it, but uh, certainly uh, comfortable on, on the way there. Uh, another Instagram post caption reads, it is divided into two units of the body and when you put the f in the fish, you can remove the aquarium, store the fish, then connect it to the main body and turn the power off. All right, that's 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 fairly innovative. See, so you can kind of plug it in, I suppose, to your, I guess, homemade aquarium thingamajig, and you can then plug it back out, and you can be um, uh, moving and shaking there. Uh, you can carry the fish, so it is relatively easy to use. Well, it looks pretty, pretty decent size there. Yeah, that's that's quite convenient. Oxygen supply and water temperature maintenance are possible, so you can you've got all the settings to keep your little your little lad or lads and lassies uh, quite quite um, quite comfortable. Um, we will work on the design in detail whilst verifying performance and carrying out an operation check. Quote: Let's dream of a world where it is natural to carry a product like this. Uh, I can already dream of that world, it's called Hollywood. No details were offered of how long the power ex is expected to last. Users on Twitter were left in stitches at the unusual design and joked that they would take their pet fish for a walk in it. Uh, one user posted a picture of the fish bag and wrote, BRB just taking a fish for a walk. This, this specially designed Japanese bag is a portable fish tank that lets pet owners take their favourite fish on a walk. There you go, there's a lad taking his pet fish for a walk there. Um, Alright, what else have we got? Uh, another wrote, am I a bad fish owner if I don't take my fish for a walk? Yeah, quite possibly. I might have to get the, the RSPCA or whatever they're called to pay you a visit. One more clearly baffled commented, take your fish for a walk, I have no words. Whilst another simply wrote, but does your fish need to go on a walk? Well, I think they only have a three second memory, don't they, fish? So they won't even remember from before you got round the corner to after you got round the corner. I think they'd probably forgotten they were even on, out for a walk at all. Many others on Instagram commented to ask where and when they could purchase the product. A release date and price for the finished product has not yet been disclosed. Well, I can't wait. Uh, a translation of Katsugyo refers to a restaurant tank in which live shellfish and lobsters are kept in. So that's where they got the that's where they got the um, uh, the word for from. So there you go, Japan always forging ahead, always taking a concept and bringing it to the next level. Um, is there nothing? Is there nothing they can't improve? I'm I'm. I, they never cease to impress me and amaze me, and I'm sure, having seen this, you now are also amazed. So let's just all bask in this wonderful amazement, thanks to our Japanese innovative friends.